Computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to use Microsoft PowerPoint for Office 365 on a Mac computer, web based. Without further ado, let us start the video. So, in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer and account for Microsoft Office 365. Now, this can be for work school or business. So, we can now go all the way down to the dock, go to the web browser, which is Safari in this case. Now go to office.com and make sure you are signed into the account. Let's go to the left hand side navigation menu. If you don't see PowerPoint, what you can do, in this case we do see it, however, let's just click on home or go above where we see the nine dots, go to all applications, explore all the applications. And now let's navigate to PowerPoint when we see it, design professional presentations. Click on this. We can choose a blank presentation, Madison, Atlas, Gallery, or choose to click on more themes that will take us to more themes. We can explore further all the templates and themes. Let's just go back one. Let's just click on new blank presentation. And now we are ready to start the presentation. So the first thing we will do is let's just click to add a title. In this case, we are computer science videos and that's what the title will be. Let's now add a subtitle. presentation. If we wish to, we can change the font. Let's just change it to Times New Roman. Let's keep that the same with the subtitle. Yep. Before we do anything, let's now save this in our documents, let's change the presentation file name to computer science videos. Enter, and this has now been saved. If we go back one, let's now resume what we were working on. And there we go. So let's now add a new slide. Right click, new slide. The agenda. Create a video, edit, export, upload, promote to social media. Let's go back to the first slide, rearrange the title, the subtitle if we wish to. We can also add a photo. So if I now go all the way down to the dock, go to Finder, my YouTube channel, find the logo, which we will drag and drop to the PowerPoint presentation. Let's delete this, right click, or an easier way, delete. Let's go back to the dock again, go to Finder, Take the same photo that we had drag and drop to the presentation, do that again. And now we can use designer to modify in accordance to the designs that have been given to us by Office 365. I'll just click on the second design. Perfect. Very professional. 
I can choose to decrease the size of the presentation or increase the size. I'll decrease it, zoom out for the moment. Let's now go back to the dock again or go to the first slide, take the photo we inserted, right click copy, go to the next PowerPoint slide and paste. And we can use designer again to modify in accordance to their designs for Office 365. Let's click on design number three. Perfect. So as you can see, the slides are starting to take place, which is the ideology. Not too sure where that photo has disappeared to. If I quit our PowerPoint slide, go back to the slide itself and there we go the photo itself has now returned so let's now insert a new slide if we wish to we can insert a table let's just remove title and everything that was on screen if we wish to we can insert a table and the table has been inserted. We can move this up and down, left, right, add the information to a table, fruit, apple, pear, watermelon, Price, let's just say apple today, five pears, five watermelon, five. That would all equate to 15 pounds if we were to add up the prices. So that's the first slide or the third slide. Right click, add a new slide, or we can if we wish to duplicate the slide. Let's remove slide number five, go back to slide number four, delete the table, and now insert pictures from stock images if we wish to. Let's just insert the photo of the golf ball. We can have that implemented with designer. There we go. New slide, insert shapes, arrow pointing to the right. Let's just remove the title and text sections. That's the arrow pointing to the right. Go back to insert. If we wish to, we can insert icons. Let's insert these 3D glasses. We can also insert smart art, another arrow, type in the text, image one, two, three. And as you can see, the text section has now disappeared. Everything that we did type here now appears within the arrows. Let's go back to insert. If we wish to, we can insert a text box and then write whatever we wish to in this text box. Yep, go back to insert. Insert a footer. Let's do that. quick message hello apply to all if we go to all the presentation slides you can see that the footer will appear everywhere if we wish to have slide numbers they will also appear don't show on the title slides so the first one will be exempt from showing the number it will then start from presentation two 
let's just apply to all so slide number two will show number two and so on so let's now go to draw let's now insert a new slide let's remove the information boxes take a pen use that to draw or write anything of your choice if we wish to we can erase what we have added on screen let's now go to design if we wish to we can add a design to the slide and there you go let's now insert a new slide if we command Z to undo what we have added and we now revert back to the originals so let's go to slideshow let's click and start from the beginning so this would be how the presentation is demonstrated to an audience and so this is how I would demonstrate the presentation less text on the slides more speech so computer science videos presentation introduce yourself the agenda create a video edit export upload promote to social media and then explain every bullet point they need to focus on you and not the slides it's great to have some visuals but at the end of the day you are the slides you are the presentation here's a table with some information then you would expand on what you have learned and researched that's a golf ball and how would this relate to your research and findings and ideologies and methodologies some images and then I would say any questions that's the presentation ended and so let's now share this presentation to a member within the Office 365 group or email let's share this to the admin sent if we wish to we can download a copy to the computer yes allow Let's now open up the presentation. And there's the presentation. Take that to full screen. Let's now quit PowerPoint, go back to Safari. Quit Safari. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for computer science videos from the start until now.